Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that this video is going to be quite boring compared to all my other videos. I'm just kind of rambling around trying to figure out my problem, and I don't figure it out, so feel free to click off now. Thank you. Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this one isn't quite as exciting as the other videos have been. Having an overheating problem in the Civic. Uh, I'll put a picture on screen now. I also experienced it in one of my other videos, but... It's like it, the fan works, but it just comes on late for some reason. The gauge gets up pretty high. Uh, the highest I've seen is around three quarters of the way up the gauge. And that's not where it should be. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping that it's just a radiator cap. I have a thermostat on order as well, but we'll see if I end up needing to do that. And yeah, let's get started. All right, looking in here under the engine bay, um, not a lot of, there's some pressure in the hoses here, not a lot. You can see I can squeeze them pretty good. There's definitely coolant in it. I've bled it. It's still a little warm. It has a brand new, pretty much you can see it's brand new. It's a 1.1 bar. So that's what I'm thinking it might be. It's a higher pressure than stock. So my new one that I have from the parts store, it's just a, they got it at advance. It's a good old car quest. Probably been around for a hundred years, but it's a 0.9 bar. I'm not sure if you can see that. So it's a little bit less pressure in the coolant system. Hopefully that'll make it overflow sooner or something. I don't know. Post on a Facebook group and that's what those guys told me to do. Don't be like me. Make sure it's totally cooled down. I mean, I can totally put my hand on there and on top of the cap, but definitely wait. Don't do what I'm going to do. It was actually pretty anticlimactic. Zero blow over. Um, brand new coolant because we just did the water pump. Um, it's right there up to the top. You can see the old cap. I mean, old cap. I mean, basically brand new cap. Not really much different. Definitely harder to push down, so it's definitely the higher pressure that it says it is. It's gonna, I guess maybe I'll start it up, try to get some bubbles out of there if there's any air. I got this fancy bleeder funnel over here. This guy, you make sure that the, this would be the highest point in the cooling system to make sure all the air comes out. I've done that a few times, two or three times by now, and it doesn't change anything. Shut up. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car first. You can see it's nice and clean in my fresh new carpet. I don't want to push coolant out of there, but I am going to give everything a little squeeze just to make sure we're good. Thermostat's still closed. So I got the new coolant in there. Go ahead and put the Johnson on. Yeah, let's go give this thing a rip and see if, uh, if that did anything. Okay, I've been ripping it around for a little bit here. We're sitting pretty good. This is about where I'd expect it to be on the highway and stuff. I mean, this is where I see everything online. This is my first Honda experience, so I guess I can't, can't act like I've seen it all, but this is what I'm familiar with. Let's go see if we're warmed all the way up or not. Not quite warm enough yet, so I might just sit here and drive it or drive it around for a little bit longer and hopefully we'll figure out if this worked sooner than later. One thing that's quite peculiar is I'm going to hit the sunroof switch here. You see that? And now we're overheating, quote unquote. I don't think I fucking believe that for a second. Let's go investigate. I don't even think the thermostat's open yet. Fan's not on. It's warm. But yeah, we're sitting over hot right now. What the fuck is that, bro? And it goes, you see how much higher it goes? I don't know, this is a really weird issue, guys. I'm not sure what's going on. It's definitely not hot enough. Uh, it's probably pretty close to turning the fan on, if I'm being honest but it's not there yet. Nope, we're still hot. And then if I press this, it goes like that. What? There's the fan. Okay. Fan turns on kind of, it's expected. I mean, overflow, it's not fucking boiling. It's great where I filled it to with the max line. Yeah, I got a brand new hose off that Johnson. I pressure tested this and nothing was leaking. There's good pressure in there. Blows air, it cools down. No, oh, people online were trying to talk me with my thermostat. I'm not really sure how much I believe that. All those keyboard warriors are way more smart than me, so what do I know? Heat works great. Definitely no problem there. Okay, yeah, our fan's off. Also, check out the new GoPro. 
quality. I'm really happy with it. At least looking at it on this little screen right here. Mint. I don't know. Maybe it's my fucking wiring, man. I don't know. Very, very interesting. Feels like the fan just turned on. Again, it's turning on really high. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. If I click it, it goes up. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I guess my fix didn't do it. I ordered a thermostat. Not sure if that's really going to do it. If anyone has any advice, please let me know. I'm not really sure what else to say in this video, so this might be it for today. I have no way of seeing what the ECU thinks the coolant temperature is in any easy way. Just kidding, we're back. I decided to take a look at this feed box down here, and since I'm having that weird problem with my uh, sunroof switch right here, I figured I'd give a take a look down here and see if there's anything super sus, anything that, any grounds that are missing, I wonder where like stuck location grounds are. I'm not sure. There's some a couple suspect things. I don't know if you can see that right there. And there, that's from a security system, but th that's that's been there for a long time. Not any issues, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Huh, I'm not really seeing anything down here that's too concerning. Wish there was an obvious ground for this fuse box. That's about it for this video. Uh, obviously, I'm super frustrated. Not really sure what's going on. Doesn't really ruin the drivability of the car since it only, only happens uh, at idle when I'm setting a stoplights and things like that. And even then it's not like the gauge goes all the way to the total hot side and it cools down right away. Obviously I want to get figured out. So if anyone has any suggestions what to try, things to do, please let me know. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.